Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for being here with me again today. So today I have a special video um, with items that I have literally been holding on to since last summer. Um, things have been crazy, as I've mentioned, last semester of nursing school, things got crazy real fast. Um, graduation, moving, job hunting, all of that stuff. Um, so I have been wanting to share this video with you guys for a while, but here we are. It's okay. Better late than never. So today I have a little haul for you guys from Paris and Italy. I am showing you guys the things that I bought or got while I was in Paris and Italy. Um, a couple of the items were um, gifts from my parents, um, belated birthday gifts. And um, I wanted to put this video out before my Paris and Italy vlogs. Um, we went to Paris last summer. We started off the trip with 24 hours in Paris alone, just me and my daughter. Um, so be sure to look out for that video that will be coming in a few days um, or within the next week. So if you're not subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button um, so you don't miss out on that. It was a lot of fun. It was a little scary, but it was fun. Um, and then the rest of the vlogs from Paris and Italy will follow that after. I kind of wanted to start out this series of vlogs for you guys with this haul um, and just kind of explain that a little bit. Um, it was overall a fun trip. Between Paris and Italy, we were there for like three weeks. Um, great summer, fun summer. It was my first time in Europe. Um, super exciting. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into this video before this intro gets too crazy long. Um, I think that I'm going to start with this bag. There are a couple of items that I got in Paris. Um, and I forget actually which ones they were. This one was from Paris. So this one I got at this little stand um, like just by the Eiffel Tower. I thought that this was super cute. I love to get a little something from each place that I go to. Um, when my husband and I first got engaged in LA, I picked up a couple of things from Chinatown. I had picked up like this little plate with two pandas on there and then this like display see-through thing that had like elephants and stuff. Both of those are now broken, of course, just my luck. Um, but I do like to pick up a little something from each place, so I thought that this would be perfect. And this actually has a little stand. Um, in our new house, I need to find a better place to put stuff like to where it's not on shelves that people can like knock into because that's exactly how those two things broke. Um, but I'll show you guys the back. It has this little stand so it can um, be a little more stable. But I thought that this was so beautiful. It's like a little scroll. Um, you guys can see it's super cute. We have the Eiffel Tower um, and a couple other little things in the back. I have no idea what those are, but there are a couple little other sites. Um, and just like the bridge where we crossed and like they always had like the boats coming out, which I really wanted to do. Um, but I mean, it was just 24 hours. We didn't have a whole lot of time. And with a five-year-old, like that can be kind of hard to shove a whole bunch of stuff in, in a short amount of time. So I thought this was such a cute little, like kind of display item. Um, and just a way to kind of remember our time there. And I just thought it was super cute. They also have this little hanger, um, in the back if you wanted to like put it on the wall. So maybe that would be better so people don't knock my stuff over. So I'll set that aside. I actually forget what else I got because it's been so long. I think this other one was from Paris as well. Maybe not. I could be completely wrong. Like I said, I don't really remember. Okay, this one was from Italy. Okay, I think I did get something else from Paris, but I don't know where it is. Um... But yeah, so that was the one thing that I have right now. I'll move in to the stuff that I got in Italy. So you guys will see in the vlogs that we went from Paris. My parents and my siblings met me in Paris. And then once we were done in Disneyland Paris, we all flew back to Italy. Now they're not on the mainland, they're in Sicily. How amazing. Um, I'm still kind of jealous that they get to be there. Um, it's so beautiful, so nice. I feel like everybody wants to go to like the mainland, all this stuff, but Sicily, if you ever get the chance to go to Sicily, do it. It is just amazing. So many amazing experiences. I think that in one of the vlogs, you guys will get to see Mount Etna was erupting while we were there. Um, 
just beautiful i cannot wait for you guys to see because it was just such an amazing experience um now this one i do remember what it is i got actually two other ones of these so there is a ton of lava rock in sicily um i mean you have a volcano there so <laughs> they put it to use they have some of these sidewalks lined with um like they're made of lava rock um some of the like walls along the highway are lava rock it's just really cool so i got these i got one for my mom and one for my in-laws um the one for my mom i think was in pink and then my in-laws had silver writing but it's i think it's sicilia is how you say it in like italian but um so this is the shape of the island and this is kind of their like um i guess i don't know i wouldn't say look like um I wouldn't say mascot, but it's like their, their symbol. Um, so it's like the three-legged, three-legged, I don't know what it's called. Um, but it kind of represents the three corners of the island. So I just thought this was super cute, and I love that it's on lava rock. Um, I, like, where, where would you find that? So I think that that is super cute. Um, the other item that I got that I was, that I was thinking was from Paris was this one right here and this one can be hung up on the wall so this one is of the mainland as well um i only went to rome through the airport but um i just thought this was super cute so you can see the boot and all and then sicily is right off of the toe of the boot which you guys i think that it's in the vlogs like you can see the mainland from sicily i think from one of the restaurants we were at it was nighttime so you can see all of the lights from the mainland it's crazy just how close it is. Like, I didn't think it was that close, but um, I thought that this was really cool and just a great way to kind of incorporate Sicily as well as um, the rest of Italy. So we got that as well. And then the other two items that we got, these are the gifts from my parents. Um, I just love all of the pottery and I really didn't want to buy stuff that... Like, I wanted to get stuff you could only find there. Not really, like, clothes or shoes. I mean, you can get, like, that kind of stuff every anywhere. But I wanted to get stuff that you would only find there. And I felt like these items, like, between the ones from Paris and, like, Italy, um, really kind of captured that. And the ones that my parents got me um, definitely did. I love this. So this is actually to put on the counter and this way <laughs> to put on the counter and you put salt in there and so as you need it you can just kind of like take it out with your hands and like sprinkle it wherever so i think they pronounce it sale um i could be wrong about that but yeah i thought that this was super cute and what a cute way to have like a bit of sicily in your kitchen um so i got that one from them and then the other kind of pottery item which i was so nervous that they would break like going through the airport and stuff so these were actually in my carry-on um but the other item that they got me was this one and i think that this one is super cute now my great grandma growing up she was in love with roosters like all over her house roosters everything um so this kind of made me think of her at first but there's actually a little story that goes along with this and i think it's in um i think it's in one of my other bags which i might have something from paris in that other bag but um everything's all packed away for moving now anyway um but there is a really cool kind of story behind this um and it's really just supposed to bring like luck and i think prosperity um if i had this the little story i would read it for you guys but um yeah it's just about how like um this guy was like throwing a party or something and um there were a lot of people that didn't like him and they were planning on going to kill him but there were a bunch of roosters um and when these people like crossed over into the yard all the roosters went off kind of alerting everybody that you know these people were here and so they were able to get away or whatever but the rooster became kind of a symbol of like protection and luck and all of that stuff so I thought this was super cute. It's kind of like a little picture. I don't think that I'll actually use this because I would be way too scared to mess this up. So in our new house, it is going to go um, maybe in the kitchen or in my china cabinet as a little decoration. So these two pottery items I absolutely love. I just love having something so unique and just something like so Sicilian 
um i i think it's just great i think that means so much more to me than like any clothing item or that kind of thing that you can get in europe i feel like that's what a lot of people buy in europe but i like this is kind of more my thing i like items to kind of commemorate my time wherever it was and just to kind of display around the house as decoration i love that so these are the few items that I got between Paris and Italy. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If any of you have been to Paris or Italy, let me know. I love that I got to share that with my daughter as well for her first time um, going to Europe and kind of letting her experience something that I didn't get to as a kid. So it was a lot of fun. Make sure again that you guys are subscribed so that you don't miss out on those vlogs. I cannot wait to share them with you if you guys have not traveled abroad. Um, it's kind of a little taste for you guys. You got to see some really cool things. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you so much for your support. And I will be seeing you guys very soon in my next video. Bye, guys.